Welcome back to our medical YouTube channel, where we dive deeper into fascinating topics that shape the field of medicine. Today we're exploring the integrated world of toxicology and toxidromes, an essential area of study for healthcare professionals dealing with poisoning and toxic exposures. Join me as we unravel the complexities of toxicology and gain valuable insight into identifying and managing toxidromes. Toxicology is a branch of medicine that focuses on the study of poisoning, their effects on the body, and the management of toxic exposures. It encompasses a wide range of substances, including medications, chemicals, drugs of abuse, and environmental toxidromes. Understanding toxicology is critical for healthcare providers, emergency responders, and toxicologists, as it helps them make accurate diagnosis and provide prompt and appropriate treatment. Now let's delve into toxidromes a term used to describe a constellation of signs and symptoms that help identify the class or category of toxin substances involved in a poisoning. Recognizing these patterns is essential for timeless intervention. I'm not going to go into detail on how to treat them all, but let's discuss some of the common toxidromes and their possible treatments. Number one, anticholinergic toxidrome. These common substances are atropine, antihistamines, and certain antidepressants. Common symptoms such as dry skin, dilated pupils, rapid heart rate, fever, convulsions, and hallucinations. Pricyclic antidepressants would be a well-known one. Treatment is mainly supportive with sodium bicarb with one to two milligrams or milli equivalents per kilogram. Number two, cholinergic toxidromes. Common substances such as organophosphate poisoning, certain insecticides, and nerve agents. Common symptoms are sweating, pinpoint pupils, excessive salivation, diarrhea, bradycardia, and muscle fasciculations. A good acronym to remember this is sludge, which is S for salivation, L for lacrimation, U for urination, D for diarrhea, G for GI upset, and E for emesis. Treatment is mainly supportive and a lot of atropine. You go two milligrams, four milligrams, eight milligrams, then 16 milligrams, you get the point, until the lungs are dry and the pupils are dilated, which is atropinization, and then an infusion can be started. The three, symptothematics or sympathothematics also known as uppers. Common substances are amphetamines, cocaine, and certain decongestions. Symptoms include increased heart rate, elevated blood pressure, dilated pupils, agitation, hyperactivity, and diaphoresis. Treatment is once again very supportive. However, a mix of sodium bicarb and benzodiazepines will do the trick. This is because the basal metabolic rate is high, and therefore they're burning a lot of oxygen. The benzos calm the patient down, stop the seizures, and also cool them down. Sodium bicarb helps with the acidosis. Number four, sedative hypnotics toxidromes, also known as downers, common substances such as benzodiazepines, barbiturates, or opiates like morphine or heroin. Symptoms include slurred speech, drowsiness, respiratory depression, impaired cognition, and confusion. This is mainly supportive, like breathing and blood pressure, although we have Narcan or Naloxone, which is also a big debate. I'm not going to get into it all now, but if you would like me to, please let me know in the comments. When faced with a potential toxic exposure, it is vital to approach the situation systematically. This involves obtaining a thorough history, performing a physical exam, and ordering appropriate diagnostic treatments or tests. Additionally, identifying the toxidrome can provide critical cues for narrowing down the possible toxins involved in guiding treatment decisions. Supportive care forms a cornerstone of managing toxic exposure. Ensuring a patent airway, providing adequate oxygen, and maintaining hemodynamic stability are the vital. In Cases where specific antidotes are available, their administration can significantly improve the patient's outcome. Examples of antidotes, which we have discussed, including naloxone for opiate overdoses and atropine for, anticholin for anticholinergic overdoses or toxicity. Toxicology and toxidromes are intricate fields that require expertise and systematic approach. By understanding toxidromes and their, and their associated signs and symptoms, healthcare practitioners can better diagnose and manage toxic exposures effectively. Remember, early recognition and intervention are critical in minimizing the potential harm caused by toxins. Stay tuned for more captivating medical content on our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Together, let's explore the frontiers of medicine.